Hey guys, welcome back to our course of microservices with event-driven architecture. In this course, we are going to use domain-driven design and Spring Cloud Stream. So for this course, the first pattern that we are going to talk about is publish, subscribe. And before going deep into this pattern, let me give you a use case scenario, okay? Let's suppose that we have a microservice, uh, let's call it by customer microservice. And the requirement is every time when a customer changes his address, we want to notify other microservices. So there is a very nice pattern that we can use in order to accomplish this use case. And this pattern is publish subscribe pattern. So what is publish subscribe pattern? Publish subscribe pattern is a form of asynchronous service to service communication. Okay, so microservice will be communicating each other using an asynchronous approach. So this pattern is used while uh, range, for example, other architectures, for example, SOA or even in monolithic, let's suppose that, okay? So in publish subscribe, we have in one side, a publisher, the one who sends or who produces the message. And the other side, we have the subscriber, the one who consumes or subscribes to a message. Okay. And we have the channel, which is, for example, in our case, a messaging middleware system. This is the place that the publisher sends the message. Okay, so the publisher sends the message to a messaging middleware system, which is a channel, and the subscribers, they subscribe or they consume from this middleware messaging channel. Implementing this pattern, we can have a lot of benefits. For example, as I was mentioning here, we have the asynchronous communication between microservices or between systems. And also, this is very nice pattern to implement or develop even driven architectures, for example, even driven microservices. And it's also very nice to use in order to, for example, uh, process or use the parallel processing. And it's very nice for scalability and reliability. In terms of scalability, for example, we can have, for example, multiple subscribers subscribing for the same or to the same message. Okay. And another thing also very nice about the publish subscribe is that we can, for example, um, subscribe or process a message later. For example, process a message whenever the subscribes want and we can use for example a scheduler job or something like that so it's very nice because the publisher can produce message right now and the subscriber can consume or process the message very later on so uh, in order to implement this pattern we need to understand or have basic or advanced knowledge of a middleware messaging system and we are going to talk about uh, some very some some of them later and also I want to tell you that this pattern will not solve all your problems related to asynchronous communication okay so you have to decide if you want to follow the this pattern for example even driven uh, uh, solutions or architecture uh, with very uh, you, you have to be very careful before uh, uh, implementing them so before going further, I would like to give you another pattern that you can uh, make. For example, some people, they get confused because they understand that when we have a message, we are talking about publish subscribe and that's not true. So this is, there are another patterns, for example, here, point to point pattern. In this case, for example, a big difference between both of them is in point to point pattern, the publisher must know the subscriber. And another thing to take in consideration is that the publisher, when a publisher sends a message, 
even if we have two subscribers, only one subscriber will consume or receive the message. And we can understand also point-to-point -point pattern here in the site as, for example, very nice fit to fire and forget or request reply pattern, okay? So, and the other side, the pattern that we are talking about, for example, uh, this publish subscribe pattern, we can have, for example, multiple subscribers or consuming, consuming the same message published by a producer. For example, here we have, for example, let's suppose we have the, the publisher C, it produced a message, let's suppose message 3 to a topic, and we have two subscribers. Both of them, they will receive the message, which is different here. In point to point, only one subscriber will receive the message. Okay? And also here, publish subscribe pattern, uh, the producer or the publisher doesn't need to know the consumers or subscribers. Okay? This is very nice to give you the introduction of Spring Cloud Stream. So, what is Spring Cloud Stream? Spring Cloud Stream is just another project from Spring ecosystem that allows us to build even driven microservices, to build application that communicate with events. And it's very simple because it binds your application to a messaging middleware system. For example, RabbitMQ, Apache Kafka, Kafka Streams or Google uh, PubSub and so on. So in this course, we are going to use the Spring Cloud Stream in order to create our publish subscribe pattern. So let's go guys.